Hi, I'm Valerie. Welcome to this new video on the Motopress channel. Today we'll cover everything you need to know about patterns since WordPress 6.3, including what patterns are, how to create and manage them in the block editor as well as in the site editor, and why you should use them on your site. So, without further ado, let's dive in. So, what is a pattern? The simple definition of patterns is that they are ready to insert predefined block layouts that you can add to your posts or pages and later tweak for your own needs using infinite customization options. These grouping of blocks can be created by designers and developers, provided by your theme author, or you can create a pattern by yourself. Patterns as pre-made designs will help you speed up your template and page creation, and they can be a single block or a full page layout. To access a collection of patterns through the block editor, you should open up a new page or post screen where you want to add a new layout. Or you can just edit the page or post that you already have on your site. It's important to know that you can use patterns with both classic themes and block themes. Now we want to click on this inserter button in the upper left corner of your site's toolbar. As you can see, there are now three tabs at the top of the inserter, and the one that we're going to take a closer look at is uh, the Patterns tab. And as you can see, uh, this opens up a bunch of patterns for us and uh, they are all organized into different categories. You can find all available patterns under all patterns. My patterns are those that were created by users. Out of the box, WordPress provides a few built-in block patterns for you to choose from, such as banners, calls to action, featured, footers and headers, gallery, posts, and so on. On top of that, block themes usually provide more block patterns you can add to your content directly from the block inserter. If you click on Explore all patterns, it will be even more convenient for you to see larger previews of the designs and search for the needed patterns. But remember um, that it is not possible to edit, create, or delete patterns from this screen. And once you find a pattern you like, all you have to do is click on the design to add it to your layout. I've chosen the pattern provided by my block theme. Once you insert a block pattern, it's made up of multiple individual blocks. So if you want to make changes, simply click on any block within the layout to customize its content. When editing, I prefer using a list view this tool is really helpful when it comes to navigating between layers of content and nested blocks. As I've already said, the blocks inside the pattern can be edited in the same way as any other blocks. For example, I'm going to change the background color of the section block. The section block is a container block for the rest of the blocks nested inside it. When we select a block, its toolbar appears above it. By clicking on the ellipses, among other useful options, we can choose the option to create a new pattern. So give the pattern a name to help you remember what the pattern is for. 
the name is only visible to you, optionally assign the pattern to a category, which is useful uh, too if you have a lot of patterns that you wish to keep organized, toggle the synced option on or off. A synced pattern is a type of block pattern that will behave in exactly the same way as a reusable block. Editing the sync pattern will update it anywhere it was used. As you've already understood, reusable blocks have been renamed to synced patterns since WordPress 6.3. And changes made to a standard non-sync block pattern will only affect that specific instance of the pattern and won't be applied to any other instance. You may have added to other posts or pages. Now you know the difference between these two patterns. Sync patterns identified by the pattern symbol uh, that looks like a diamond with another diamond behind it. Uh, you can identify it by its name on the block toolbar, in the block settings sidebar, in the list view, and in the breadcrumbs area at the bottom of the screen. If you wish to make any changes to the pattern, make sure to select uh, Detach Pattern option. Uh, so it's back to normal block. Also note that this option won't be available if the sync pattern is locked. Along with the available patterns, you can create your own patterns easily. Just use the blocks to create a group of blocks with your own desired layout. Inside the section block, it's a container block. I'm adding a media and text slider and then I want to upload images for it. Both these blocks are blocks by Gatwit, and Gatwit is a free library of extra Gutenberg blocks and design templates. Now I'm ready to create my custom pattern. The procedure is the same, uh, but this time I want it to be non-sync. However, if you lack design skills, it might be rather difficult to achieve a professional looking design by yourself, especially on the first attempt, or if you don't have enough time. In these scenarios, you can use patterns to simplify your work. Adding patterns from the WordPress.org patterns directory involves finding the pattern you want to use and clicking on copy. Then you need to return to your page or post, right-click with your mouse, and select Paste. So easy! After that, you can play around with the settings for further fine-tuning the design, uh, you know, uh, make some tiny adjustments to achieve the best look and feel if needed. Now, before we jump into the next part of the video, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is to click on that subscribe button. And of course, while you are at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. You can also manage your patterns using the site editor. This interface is only available for blog themes. In this tutorial, I'm using Prime, a free WordPress FSE starter theme for making first-class business portfolios. To find patterns, first we go to Appearance, Editor, wait a little bit for the editor to load, and click on Patterns. You can choose between different pattern categories in the Site Editor sidebar. And now I'm looking through all patterns. 
user created patterns are listed under the heading my patterns note even though it says my patterns patterns created by all users show up here not only patterns by the user who is logged in today's slider is under the above category and this pattern i've assigned to the service category so it's here these are the patterns that come bundled with my theme and they are gathered here separately too we can search for the needed pattern a great feature i think next on the right side of the screen you can choose if you want to view all patterns synced patterns or non-synced patterns as we see my themes patterns are locked uh, so i cannot edit them we cannot edit patterns from the themes and plugins because they are not saved in the database but of course there is a great workaround you can click on the three dots button and click duplicate to create an editable copy of that pattern uh, this copy will be listed under my patterns for example like this one after this you can edit this pattern easily this is something similar uh, to what we just have done uh, in the block editor also a pattern has a preview menu what's more you might have already noticed two links at the bottom of the site editor one of them is called manage all my patterns and if you click on it you will be redirected to a wordpress admin view uh, your patterns will be listed in a table this view can be convenient if you want to import patterns or apply bug actions so from here you can also edit your patterns if you have created a pattern on one side and want to use it on a different side select export as json to import a pattern select the button uh, import from json and choose your pattern json file there is a button to create a new pattern too but now let's get back to the site editor because since WordPress version 6.3, creating your site's patterns is possible via the site editor. There is a plus icon next to the patterns sidebar title, so you can click on it to create new patterns. When you click on the create pattern button a new model pop-up allows you to assign a name to your pattern and set the type of pattern you're going to build synced or not synced to conclude wordpress 6.3 pattern system has been streamlined and become more consistent it's now much easier for users to create custom patterns directly from the blog editor and the site editor and then manage them from the wordpress dashboard without having to deal with code patterns provide an easy time-saving way to add content to your website you can create layouts on your own otherwise you can opt for professionally made patterns that can be inserted with a single click. I mean, you can decide on patterns from the WordPress patterns directory or use your themes patterns library. The choice is yours. So my question is, have you ever used blog patterns to create your website? If you haven't used them yet, we highly recommend using them for your effortless amazing website building journey if yes share with us your experience in the comments section below 
So we hope you learned a lot about patterns today. So if you found this tutorial useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.